Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Very well. Ready for rock and roll here. Okay, let's wait just two more minutes for the next classmates to come into the class. Okay. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Ready for the English class of today. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, let's wait just one or two more minutes. Meanwhile, the other people are coming into the class. Okay, we're going to start then. Um, welcome to the English class this day. Um, the, how is everything going? How is the wind? How do you feel that one? It was so windy today. Yeah, we need to take care. And cold. Yeah, so we don't get the flu. Um, that is not good. And well, I believe that if you get the flu at this time, you are going to be worried, right? That you have other things. <laughs> so we need to be careful about that one. And how is uh, the platform going? Uh, <clears throat> teacher. Yep. I have the question. The platform um, section 2.11. Okay. Let's see. I don't know, understand. Uh, uh, listen, uh, listen audio. Uh, is, uh, is this one the 211? Oh, no, uh, sorry. Um, and two, section two, section two um, point, um, el, ulti, el ultimo teacher, el ultimo. Um, the listening. Listen, okay. correct, yeah. That one, yeah. so... Uh, yes, 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 teacher. That the one. I don't know, understand. Uh, you don't understand what you need to do or you don't understand the exercises? The exercise. Mm, okay. Okay, what you need to do here, let's see. Uh, let's listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation. <coughs> Write the answer to, uh, for each person. Type in full answers. Do not forget to type a period. <coughs> Ok, pero si sí puede escuchar los audios. Yeah, uh, um, en uh, number one, um, San Francisco, um, um, me sale malo, pero no sé qué más tengo que poner. Mm, ok, posiblemente es porque no es solo el lugar, lo que dice acá es que tiene que eh, Co ingresar eh, uh -huh. completa. Hagamos una cosa, déjame revisar. Vamos a revisar solo un par. Ok. Mm, vaya, fíjese que debería de ser San Francisco o oh, he went 
to San Francisco. Oh, yo, uh, only San Francisco. Mm. Debería pero, de agregarse, pero, pero le sale uh, mala. Yes, teacher. Y le salen mal a todas. Um, um, lo que pasa es que solo puse el primero San Francisco. Um, and, and number two puse... Um, um, está, en, no, ahí no, puse, no me recuerdo qué puse, pero no puse nada. Yes, oh, hi, yes, he did. Sí. Hagamos una cosa. A veces lo que sucede es que si pone un punto de más o una algo de más o un espacio solo con el espacio no se lo deja no le deja pasar eh, hagamos una cosa trate de hacerlo okay. trate de um, de finalizarlo y si le sale algún error escríbame directamente a mí al chat y lo vamos a revisar ok teacher Ten. así vamos a ir una por una hágalo trate de hacerlas todas a ver si si en todas le da error o, o... No, todas me salieron malas <risas> sí pero puede ser eso es posible que es posible que sea porque cuando estamos, tenemos que digitar en la cajita, a veces pasa eso bastante. En que si no es exactamente lo que, lo que se tiene que poner, incluso los puntos de aquí arriba dice, pues, hay que poner oh, puntos. Sí. Ah, oh, en el primero no le puse pon, puede ser que eso sea pues San Francisco, pero sin punto. Ah, entonces esos son los detallitos que a veces tenemos que tener cuidado, más que todo cuando digitamos una respuesta. Entonces, okay. Si quiere, trate de hacerlo. Y la, y la segunda solo es respuesta corta. Yes, he did. Eh, sí, déjame revisar. Yes, he did. He enjoyed. Sí, puede ser. Bueno, aquí dice yes, pero a mí no me gustaría solo yes, ¿verdad? Podría ser yes, he did. Y siempre el punto y la coma. Si no pone ninguno de esos, no lo va a dejar pasar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, dicho. Entonces, eh, sí, para cualquiera que tenga algún tipo de situación como esta, más que todo en estos que tienen la, la cajita donde tenemos que digitar, eh, uh -huh. a veces pasa eso. Cualquier cosita, incluso un espacio, puede ser que no nos deje pasar. Pero igual, pues me pueden escribir, lo podemos revisar. Perfect, teacher. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Any other question with uh, the platform by now? No, Okay. Also, we can check the um, 211. Uh, this is about the past of B. Have you finished this already? This is the class yes, of teacher. today. Okay. Finish. Aquí sí no hay ningún problema. No problem. Todo nice. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So, um, yesterday we were talking about the homework, right? So, you had a few more hours to finish that one and uh, we're going to start with that part so who wants to be the first one to tell us what happened to you last year Ahí levantó la mano Gerardo. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay who wants to be the first one me teacher okay please go ahead okay um Past year, on November, I went to the beach with my family, but I forgot my short. I had to stop in a clothes shop and bought a new short. And I had only one problem. The short was very little. I thought today will be a bad day, but my brother helped me. He lent me another short. That's all. Very well. Very good. Thank you very much. That is interesting. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes yeah. plans <laughs> don't go the way that we want. <laughs> okay, Francisco, since you were the first one, you are going to choose <coughs> who's next. Okay. Um, uh, Gerardo? Gerardo. How was my 2020? Okay. It was a year of many challenges and opportunities. At the beginning of the years, I worked as a consultant processing food, for example, jellies and cashew, cashew wine. When the pandemic began, 
All consultations were suspended to respect physical distancing. Then I started studying food regulation and also I started studying English on the platform Inglés Corporativo. I am very grateful for the opportunity they gave me. Very well, very interesting. And so you are a specialist in food. That is so interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Gerardo. So Gerardo is going to choose who's next. Jonathan, how was your 2020? Good. Um, I difficult because I, uh, it is like an interference. You have technical issues. Not right now, but you are in mute. Okay, uh, and now? We listen, there is a little interference, but we listen to you. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> well, my 2020 is what? Uh, a little difficult because I left uh, uh, of of work or job or I left the work. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, because the pandemic. Uh, uh, my uh, my my job is closed. Um and what else? Uh, 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 on November, right? Uh, I start in I, I start to learn uh, English in English corporative, right? Okay. Um, and that's it. I don't know more. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jonathan. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult with the pandemic. Many things has changed and uh, we need to adapt ourselves. But um, we're very sure that we are going to end very nice this year, uh, hopefully. Jonathan, who's going to be the next one? We can hear right now. Okay, you have technical issues. Don't worry, I'm going to help you with that one. The next one is going to be um, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Um, the year uh, 2019, I went to I went to the United States, um, Austin, Texas. I visit um, on my cousin um, in, in, in the week on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Um, uh, I cannot, to cannot um, Riverside and San Antonio, Texas, um, Alamo. Um, that's it, teacher. Only. Okay. Very well. Thank you. And who's going to be the next, Carlos? Um, okay. Um, Cody Monterrosa. Very good. 
Ok. My 2020, it was a weird year for the quarantine. My life didn't change a lot because I live at the countryside, but I made a few things. I began to learn English. I made a few poems. I learned to make sweet bread, bread and I watch more series that I usually watch. Because I had a lot of free time. Currently, I feel bad because I didn't read many books. That's it. Okay. Very well, thank you. That's interesting. We need to try your uh, sweet bread one time, you know. And, uh, <laughs> well, you always have time to read more books, so enjoy that one. And um, who's going to be the next one? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. The next one. Let me see. Omar. Omar. Good. Ayala. Okay. Uh, last year was a good year. I learned many things. I study Excel and I received many training on customer service, sales, and leadership in my work. Um, I was working from home for nine months. And that allowed me to enjoy with my family, especially with my nephews. It was a difficult year. There were many restrictions, but I'm adapt very well uh, to all the changes. I had to work on holidays, sometimes at night hours, but working at home, everything is much better. Very good, thank you very much. And it's very good that you have learned many things. Excel is fantastic. I really love it. So, okay, Omar. So, who's going to be uh, next? Uh, Brenda Sandoval. Good. Brenda, it's your time. Um, bien. Sería, last year was difficult because of the COVID. But I study is, is is interesting English class. Okay, very well. Thank you, Brenda. Nice that you're here with us. And uh, who is going to be the next one? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell us, quién será el próximo? Um, Flor? Flor. 2020 was a different year for me because mm -hmm. of the coronavirus. I have changed in my personal and life. I rest for a long time. I could not meet with my friends, but I spent time with my family. I read, I told histories to my nephew. I wake up late. I did homework with my niece. I ate a lot. For a moment, I feel stressed, stressed. And I try to distract myself, listen to music, organize, organize my things. Very good. You've been very active. That's very nice, Flo. Thank you. And uh, who's going to be the next good. one? Brenda Cruz. Good. This is what I did my last on vacation. I went to the beach with my family. It was a relaxing time for me. I did many activities. I played volleyball with my brothers, um, swam in the pool, ate many seafood, saw the sunset, sunset, and I spent a wonderful vacation with my family. And that was the last vacation outside home because then the COVID-19 came and we were on quarantine. Thank you very much. Hey, you did so many things. And uh, who's going to be the next one, Brenda? Jenny Escobar. Good, Jenny. Okay. Uh, last year was very, very difficult for me. In addition to the pandemic, 
My husband was diagnosed with colon cancer in July. He underwent surgery and began chemotherapies. Thank God he is fine. I work from home for five months that helped me to be able to take care of him. Then I returned to the office in August and things improved a bit. Very well. Thank you, Jenny. We know it has been difficult for you, uh, but thanks uh, God, everything will be fine. So. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, who's going to be next? Um, there are missing Jacqueline, Marcela, Beatriz, Iris, Brian, I guess. Marcela. Marcela, okay. In my last year, I did several things. Other, others were canceled due to the pandemic. The business, earning crypto coin, and with that, I be able to pay with it some payments. I did that met my face, my face, as my partners when they got sick with COVID. Um, Okay. Okay, very well. Yeah, the pandemic has been everywhere, right? It's incredible how from China we are also affected here in the other side of the world. Uh, Marcela, who's going to be next? ¿Quién había dicho que hace falta? Creería yo que falta Jacqueline, Iris, Brian, and Beatrice. Uh, it is. Okay. Okay. I received the year 2020 with my family and this usually and we pray and usually got for our Goals. Um, February is normal, uh, but in March, Mar March, it's um tense for me because my husband come the country, the El Salvador, because uh, he job is in the ship and the clothes. Uh, close the ship and the um, labor going over thing open uh, the oh, airport 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 huh? uh, and travel in October we visit my my sisters in New York and I'm <laughs> okay hey yeah, you've been very busy that's nice here so who's going to be the next one um creería que nos falta Jacqueline Beatriz y Brian Jacqueline good uh, my life in 2020, I had my whole book with this COVID. See, happening a lot is since it affected the economy a lot in and more other things. But thank you, good my family, and I are I good here. Sorry. Okay, very good. Yeah, the pandemic has changed and it was a special year. 
to Jacqueline, who is going to be at the next? Uh, Brian. Brian. Okay. And last year on December, I went to shopping center with my family. The shopping center is uh, very big. You can buy many things in that place. Everyone uses use it a uh, mask for protection. You can enter if you do not use a mask. My family shop it and come back to home. That's everything. Thank you, Brian. Very interesting. Yeah, downtown center. So uh, the last one, it should be Beatrice. Last year in, in January, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Enero. January. Ah, January. I traveled to Mexico. I went out to see many places on the world. I meet a friend who also live in El Salvador. I I returned in February due to the coronavirus. I visited my grandfather and I studied second year of high school. Um, I went to the beach and um, play, play soccer and sprained my frog. Okay, very good. You've been also very busy. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, everybody, very good job uh, by explaining, using the words, using the grammar. Um, maybe I was checking that uh, we have probably uh, an issue with um, prepositions. For example, when we use um, when we use the month, for example, when we say November, we don't say on November, we say in November. If you say the date, if you say November 15th, then we say on details little little things but uh, mostly it's very good pronunciation was good so we can continue practicing that one is, and it's very important for you to to listen to yourself that is very nice okay so uh we are going to continue we are going to uh remember uh, yesterday we were talking uh, i guess the last topic was the past of the verb to be right do you remember that Yes, Very well. So uh, we are going to continue and we're going to do a little exercise about that one so we can remember and practice. Here we go. Okay. okay. So um, we have some uh, sentences and we're going to complete those with the past of the verb to be. This is kind of easy, I guess. So number one on the left, the first part, how is it going to be? I was happy. With the verb. I was happy. Very good. And number two? You were, I were angry. You were hungry. You were angry. Okay. Number three. She, she was, was, she was, was in the last week. week. Good. Number four. He was, he was, on, was on holidays. Holiday. He was on holiday. Good. Number five. It, it was, it was cold. Cold. Nice. Number six. We were, we were at, at school. school. Good. We were at school. Number seven. You were at the, the cinema. cinema. You were at the cinema. Good. Number eight. They were at home. They were at home. At home. They were at home. Number nine. The cat, the, was cat on the, was on the, the cat was on the roof. The cat was on the roof. Number 10. The children the were in the garden. The children were in the garden. Where? In the garden. Good. The children were in the garden. So, very easy. As you remember, this is going to be very similar to the verb to be in present, but we just remember that it was and were. The other ones, we're going to make them in negative. So, number one. I wasn't in Canberra last spring. I wasn't in Canberra last spring. Good. Number two. 
We weren't we were school were last, last, last Saturday. Good. We weren't at school last Saturday. Number three. Tina wasn't at home yesterday. Tina wasn't at home yesterday. Tina wasn't at home yesterday. Nice. Number four. He wasn't, he wasn't happy. happy. He wasn't happy. Nice. Number five. Robert and Robert his son and were just Gary's friends. Gary's friends. Gary's friends. Gary's friend. Robert and Stan were. Weren't actually, right? Number six. You wasn't very busy on Friday. You weren't very busy like on Friday. You weren't very busy on Friday. Nice. And number seven. They weren't they in, were front in front of the, of the supermarket. supermarket. They weren't in front of the supermarket. Nice. Number eight. I wasn't, I wasn't in, in the museum. The museum. museum. I wasn't in the museum. Number nine. She wasn't she in was South in Africa, Africa last month. She wasn't in South Africa no. last month. Number ten. Jessica and Kimberly weren't late for school. Good. Jessica and Kimberly weren't late for school. Uh, let's see. A little bit more. This is very easy, but we need to practice. So number one, uh, affirmative. They were ill. They were. They were. They were, they were ill. 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 Do you know what is ill? It was tired. Ill is like sick. It's the same sick. of being sick. Sick. Enfermo. Sick. Uh. Okay, number two. You were tired. You, you weren't tired. You were tired. Nice. Number three. Children, children were quiet. quiet. The children were quiet in silence. Number four. Max was, was in Helsinki, Helsinki last week. Last. Was in Helsinki last week. That is it. Max was in Helsinki last week. Do you know what is Helsinki? Helsinki. No. Finlandia. That is it. It's in Finland. Finland. <laughs> Okay, the uh, next one, number five. She, she was, was home, was home for, dinner. for dinner. Good, she was home for dinner. Number <coughs> six. The, the water, the water was, was cold. cold. The water was cold, like today, right? <laughs> yes, <Number> seven. <laughs> so cold. Yeah. <laughs> number seven. There... Was there was a good film, a good on, film TV on TV yesterday. yesterday. There was a good film on TV yesterday. Remember that there is and there are. You can transform them into past just by saying there was and there were. Estos son uh, afirmativos. Afirmativas. Afirmativas. Como ahí dice practice negativo. Ah, sí, la siguiente la vamos a hacer negativas. Don't worry. Okay. Vamos a ir de tarde. So, uh, just remember that one. There is, is there, was. The next one, number eight. We were in Brazil. We were in Brazil last winter. We were in Brazil last winter. Number nine. The Indians were at the school this morning. Betty and Florence were at school this morning. In number 10. I was happy when I, I was about happy the accident. when I heard about the accident. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> number, okay. The other ones are going to be uh, negative. So number one, how is it going to be? Our trip to, Our Spain, trip to Spain wasn't great. Wasn't great. Good. Great. Trip. You know what is trip, right? Trip, yeah, un viaje. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Viaje. Trip. Mm -hmm. Nice. Un viaje, number... un trip, pues. Yeah, España. Number two. I wasn't in love with my family. I wasn't. Very good. Number three. 
my sister and, my her, sister friend and her friend were at a nice restaurant. Good. Number four. I went to Olivia, but she wasn't at home. She wasn't at home. Good. Number five. My friends weren't very busy. Listen. Very busy. Yeah, my friends weren't very busy. Number six. The weather, the wasn't, weather was wasn't good there. Good. Was. Weather wasn't good there. Number seven. The exercise yes, wasn't I were busy. They they were very difficult. Ah, this is interesting, right? We have two verbs. So the exercises <laughs> weren't easy. They were, were difficult. difficult. So it's one negative in the Yeah. So number eight. Lisa and Henry weren't very happy. They angry. weren't angry. They same, they right? Lisa and Henry weren't very happy. They were angry. We're angry. 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 Number nine. We were we are home, home all day. day. It, very it was very boring. boring. Okay. Very boring. Very boring. boring. Nice. <laughs> and we have another one. Let's see. Okay. So in this one, we're going to uh, create the question. So for the number one, how is it going to be? Were they, were they intelligent? intelligent? Were they intelligent? Good. Number two? Was, was it warm? 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 Was it warm? Good. And the next one? Was Jim, was Jim clever? clever? Was Jim clever? Do you know what is clever? Clever. Intelligent. Something like that. Yeah, very smart. Intelligent. Number four. Was, was he, he ambitious? ambitious? Was he ambitious? Okay. Number five. Were we late? Were we late? Were we late? Good. Were we late? Number six. Were you busy? Were you busy? busy. 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 Were you busy? Nice. Number seven. Was people in hurry? Was or where? 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 That is where. When you use people, that is plural of person. So it's going to be where. Uh, yo sé que en español es la gente está, la gente es. In English, it's not like that. In English is plural, okay? So people. people in this case, plural. it's going to be where people in a hurry. Do you know what is to be in a hurry? Where they? Apresurado? Yeah. You are running for some reason. In a hurry. In a hurry. Okay. So number eight. Where, where they, they happy? happy. Where they happy? Were they happy? Very good. And let me see. This is a little conversation. It's going to be very easy as well. Uh, hello, Paul. Where? How is going to be that one? Where? Where you left? Hi, Peter. I was in the USA. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's correct. So the first one is going to be, hello, Paul, where were you last month? And then in the number two, hi, Peter, I was in the yeah, USA. What did you say? And I then was I, I was, I was in, Miami. in Miami. Number three. What were it like? Or what, what was? What was it like? What was it like? What was it like? What was it like? Uh, and it was four, great. It was great. And then? The sea was it calm was and the calm. weather were incredible. The sea was calm and the weather was, was, incredible. was incredible. Okay, number five. And what was the hotel what was like? The hotel like? That is it. What was the fantastic. hotel like? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. There, there was a casino and there, 
were was for movie theaters. For movie theaters. Ah, good. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. Where for movie theaters. And the number seven. What were the what people were like? The people like? What were the they, people like? Good. And they, number eight? They, they were charming they and were friendly. They were charming and friendly. Very good. They were charming and friendly. Nice. Charming. Nice, nice. Do you know what is charming? Charisma. <laughs> yeah, that is it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, well, the next one is WH questions. These are very similar. I mean, um, what were you doing yesterday? Um, or where was your sister last night? So it's going to be uh, exactly the same as in present, but we are only going to change the verb to be. Okay? So let's do a little practice on that one, but it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ask a question with WH words. And uh, one person is going to answer that one and then ask a question to another classmate. So please think about one or two questions that you can ask with WH words and uh, the verb to be in past. Okay? One in your mind and we are going to practice. Are you ready? Two questions. Ok, ya, yeah. one, one. one, porque question. solo vamos a hacer así, yo le voy a preguntar a alguien, esa persona me va a contestar y esa persona le va a preguntar a otro classmate, entonces vamos a hacer solo una. Ok, let's see Omar, uh, let me think, um, where were you yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday where? No. Ah, uh, no, I was, I was in house of my, of my mom yesterday. Very good. You were at your mom's house. Very good. Now, Omar is going to ask another person. Okay. Brenda Cruz. Brenda Cruz. When was your last birthday party? My last birthday party was in the beach with my family. Well, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that yes. is the word to be, right? <laughs> okay. Now, Brenda, you are going to ask a question. Uh, ¿A quién? ¿A quién? No haya pasado. Uh, uh, Carlos, where were your best friends living? Um, um, sorry, repeat, please. Good. Where were your best friends living? Where were my, where my, my friends? I live in, in Zacate, Coluca. Okay, they lived. Okay, maybe this one it was a little bit difficult because it was not just the verb to be, but it was the past continuous. Aquí lo que hizo la compañera es que le metió también el verbo con ing y quizá por eso ¿verdad? es un tiempo diferente, siempre es pasado, pero es un pasado continuo. It's not the simple past. That's good. Porque así vamos también viendo otros tiempos y vamos viendo cómo una conversación normal puede darse. Carlos, you are going to ask another question to anybody else. Okay, teacher. Uh, listen. Mm. Um, Beatriz. Beatriz. Yeah. Uh, why? Why were you visit yesterday? Just remember that one. Uh, recordemos que si ocupa el verbo to be, no lleva otro verbo. 
Oh. Why be said? Why? Why? Why be suggested that? Why be suggested that? Okay, in this situation, since we are not going to use the verb to visit, puede. Puede ser que utilicemos otro verbo. Tendría que ser, why did you visit? Did. Ah, why did you visit yesterday? Okay. Uh, well, that is a valid question, so you can answer. Oh, sorry. No, it's a good question. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay. Podría repetir la pregunta otra vez? Please repeat the question. Why did you visit yesterday? Maybe why, why did you visit your parents yesterday? Oh, did, yeah. Eh, no sé si entendí bien. La pregunta es why did you visit, visit your yesterday? Parents. Your parents yesterday. Please remember that if we ask a question with why, the answer is going to start with because. 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 Yeah, because it's a reason, because. right? No entiendo bien la pregunta. ¿Por qué visitó a sus papás ayer? Why did you visit uh, yesterday? ¿Qué mm. Puede básicamente responder cualquier cosa, no tiene que ser verdad. Ah, uh, ok. <risa> ¿Y cómo supo, cómo supo que fui donde mi papá? No, es que no vivo, están lejos. No, it's just to practice English, don't worry. Ok, entonces sería. Because. Uh, because I have, I have not. Visited the, the, the past month. Very good. Because I, well, de hecho, la hizo perfecto porque la hizo con el pasado participio. I haven't, I haven't visited them the last month. Very good. And uh, question for everybody. Si yo quiero responder por qué sí, ¿cómo es eso? Mm -hmm. Se puede ver, ¿no? Porque sí. Porque sí. Porque yo quería. Because. Solo because. That is it. Because. because. So if somebody okay. says, ah, because. That is good. Okay, yes. we are going to uh, stop this practice and we're going to continue with the other part. So we can move on. Let's see. Okay. And these are like a little practice on that one. So who is going to be the number one? Siempre con where you are. Yes. Con, uh, that is just where to be. Why? Why were the children upset? Why were, why were the children upset? Do you know what is upset? Upset is como... Están parados o como. Como molesto. Something ah, like molesto. You're not that upset happy. Es molesto. It's not angry, it's less than angry. So, uh, upset mm. is like, uh, I don't want to be here. Un poquito molesto. So, but what would be an answer for that one? Ahora vamos a ver cuál podría ser una respuesta. Why, are, ah, why were the children upset? Anybody? Because they were hungry good because they were hungry nice what is number two how is it going to be where were you where, where you 
Where were you? And an answer for that one. I were at home. I was at home. I was. I was. I was at home. Very good. Number three, how's it gonna be? How was how was the weather? How was the weather? And an answer? How was the weather? It was cold. It was cold. It was cold. It was cold. Good. Number four, what is it gonna be? When was when 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 was he at home? When was he at home? And an answer? He was at the bedroom. But the question is when? No. When? Oh. When, um, he, he went yesterday. Yesterday. That is a possible answer. He was yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. The next one, number five. <coughs> Why, Why were they, were at, they the at the hospital? At the hospital. Why were they at the hospital? And an answer for that? Because, because they were I, sick. Because was sick. Because they, yeah, they, they were, were they were sick. sick. Okay. Then uh, number six. Uh, this is a little bit difficult. How bit long difficult. was the concert? How long was the concert? How long? And the ¿Cuánto duró es how long? ¿Cuánto duró? Ahí es duró porque es el pasado, it was, pero uh -huh. si fuera, how long is, is different. So, how long was the concert? What is an answer for that question? The it was, was two uh, hours. It was two hours long. Two nice. hours long. Okay, number seven. Why were you late? <coughs> Why were you late? And an answer for that? Because I was asleep. Okay, you can say the word for that one is because I was overslept. Uh, oh, well, actually you can say I, because I overslept. Overslept means that you sleep more than you had to. Overslept. Good. Overslept. overslept. I was overslept. No, I overslept. Oh, I, oh, I overslept. I overslept. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that happens sometimes. You, know? you wake up and everybody, everything is clear and you say, what happened? So, number eight. Where were you? Where were your sister of summer? Where? Your sister late uh, summer. Where? Where? Where was your where sister? Was. Where was? Where was your where sister last time? Where she got was? Okay, and uh, what she was? She was. She was at she was the, on the beach. What? Yeah, good. Number nine. What was she afraid of? What was she afraid of? Yeah, afraid is like that, to fear something. So that is a good question, right? What was she afraid of? What was she afraid of? She was afraid of. Sería of or sería about? No. Of. Oh. oh, she was afraid of uh, cows. Yeah, you can say anything actually. She was afraid okay. of spiders. She it's was spider. afraid it's okay. of <laughs> okay. spiders. Snakes. Snakes are not that I good. Snakes. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Actually, you can be afraid of anything. <laughs> and uh, the last one it says, uh huh. When was he at the stadium? Stadium. 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 When was when was he at the stadium? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Y es cuando él fue al estadio. ¿Cuándo fue al estadio? ¿O cuando estuvo estaba. en el estadio? ¿Cuándo? Uh -huh. Cuando estaba en el estadio. Is this the verb to be? He was, uh -huh. he was uh -huh. studying last week. On Sunday. On Sunday. Yeah. 
Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, they won, right? <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, I have a question okay. for you. We're going to stop this one. And uh, let's see, uh, just to finish, there was a very interesting question there. So I want to ask you all, okay. what, what were you afraid of when you were a kid? Do you remember? Um, when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Were you afraid of anything? Um, Carlos, were you afraid teacher, of anything? I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. Afraid is to need me. Do anything. Huh? Oh, okay. So if I ask you, afraid. what were you afraid of when you were a kid? I don't want those verbs to be meaning being nice. What <laughs> were you afraid of when what? you were a kid? Where? So Carlos, I do you was remember? Afraid. Uh, go ahead, Cory, please. I was afraid of. I don't know how to say iguanas. How to say iguanas? Iguanas. Yeah, that and is. And I not, hate. Not really. And I hate them. <laughs> okay. I was afraid of iguanas. Okay, that's good. Well, it's not good, but anyway. <laughs> Currently, it's the same. Really, it's the same. You haven't changed that. <laughs> what about, let's say, Gerardo? I was afraid. Oh, teacher, I don't know. Sorry. Go ahead, please, Carlos. My I was name. afraid. Uh, I'm dog. Dogs, really? <laughs> okay. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> One dog. <laughs> One dog. It was uh, evil. <laughs> dog. Okay. What about Gerardo? I don't understand. Afraid of. Tener miedo. Uh, okay. <laughs> So what were you afraid of when you were a kid? Nothing. He was brave. I I I was I was afraid of a snake. Snakes. Yeah, snakes are not good. Me too. Yeah. What about Omar? Hmm? Clown. No, Omar. Clown. Okay. I I Clown. I, wa I was afraid uh, spiders. To spiders. Spiders. Yeah, spiders yes. are not good. <laughs> <laughs> no pata <Marcella>. no. <laughs> What were you afraid of, Marcela? A spider one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe um, high or oh, las alturas? Ah, so you were afraid of high, ah, high position things. Like that. Good. Thank you. What is? What ab yeah, well. <laughs> what about Jenny? What were you afraid of, Jenny? Mm -hmm. I was afraid of uh, Eh, roedores, no sé, las cucarachas. Cucarach. 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 Jonathan, what were you afraid of? Uh, I was afraid of uh, the hide too. Okay, hi. High position. Okay. High. Ah, uh, hi. Francisco, what were you afraid of? I was afraid of the ocean. The ocean, mm -hmm. Mayan. Yeah. Yeah, it's so vast, it's so big, right? <laughs> yeah. What about Brenda? I, can, I cannot swim. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, bro. I was what. afraid of sneezing. Of? I was afraid of sneezing. Mice. 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 Okay. Mice. Yeah. What about floor? I was afraid of the height too. High. Okay. High. So you don't like planes and things like that. <laughs> what mm. about what about Iris? What were you afraid of? 
I was praised all animals. <laughs> really? You were praised all the animals. <laughs> all the animals. Rapos, arañas, todo, todo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo también. What about Beatriz? What were you afraid of? To speak I English. was afraid of hey. height. Hey. Okay, very good. And what about height is Spanish? Oh, a las okay. alturas. Oh, okay. Brian. I was afraid of uh, snakes. Snakes. Snakes are not snakes. popular. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jacqueline? I was a snake. A snake? Ah. And cocodrile? Todos los reptiles. And Brenda. Brenda Cruz. What were you afraid of? I was afraid of sharks. Sharks. Yeah, sharks. Sharks. Like in the movies. Okay. <laughs> okay, my Hello, friends. baby shark. Oh, well. Uh, is there any question with the class of today? No question, teacher. No. Any question. Okay, my friends. So, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well and uh, enjoy. Okay, teacher. Okay, this is Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good